from the 1100 meter marker and Salty Voyager, one of the first starts with the green cap, the blue cap of Rio Carrari is right there on the right hand side. So uh, ground control is quite keen fighting with the rider. Aldo Altissimo is also hard held near the rail, that's with the white sleeves. Further back, Benash, it's got about five lengths to make up. Then comes Golden Tractor. We light the fire. Then comes African Warrior. And Montreal Mist is also racing with its head up towards the air. As they move now towards the 600 meter. And Celtic Voyager brings them in. Rio Carrari second with the blue cap. And Altissimo is near the rail. Ground control comes around them. Benash is going to go through in the center. We light the fire goes in. Still Celtic Voyager. Rio Carrari now comes under pressure and Aldo Tissimo becomes a big runner. Binoche is also running on from behind. It's still Celtic Voyager past the last hundred meters and Celtic Voyager is hanging tough. Running on is Binoche and Aldo Tissimo but Celtic Voyager holding them at bay and won it. Binoche second then Aldo Tissimo and Golden Tractor. So the victory is for number four, Celtic Voyager. And this is for the Finch and Green Street Bloodstock. And they end up winning it. Also Andre Fischer, Missing You Syndicate and Kulup. The Wise Boys and number four wins it. And wins it by about three quarters of a length. Bred by Main Chance Farms. Number four on the tote. 12 rand and three rand the players. As we look at this head-on, Celtic Voyager, another one that went to the front. So take note, they're staying there from the front and Celtic Voyager continues to plug away under Warren Kennedy. And this is the victorious son of Verzen Jetterix and Glenn Cotson once again. And until the running of the third, which starts off the players' accumulator, back to the studio. And stable. Welcome back to the winner's enclosure and uh, the second race has gone the way of the Glen Cotson trained number four Celtic Voyager. Uh, so it's a quick double for the team. Uh, congratulations Glen. Uh, this horse uh, has won and won well and as you said uh, he really did look in a good place didn't he? He did. You know the pinnacle plate the other day was a very strong race. His horse is merited at 120 in the race or 115 or thereabout. So it, was, it wasn't a bad run at all and we thought he, he needed it. And, uh, you know, Warren uh, dictated the pace, they led him, and it uh, was fantastic, and uh, uh, he won a really good race today. Um, Person Getterix, uh, one of the top stallions, young stallions, so uh, he's very, very smart. Just well done to Justin for Mark, um, you know, he bought uh, the Colt from Main Chance, and um, we've got the, the brother as well. And uh, so it's nice to, to train the family, so well done to uh, Brian Finch, um, Fabian, and Andre Fouché, and the boys, so yeah, very, very well done to them. He's, a, he's had 11 starts now for four wins, so he's really going about it the right way and just uh, showed that that last run, as you touched on already, uh, he, could, uh, he could go on and win a good fair share of races. Yeah, absolutely. Look, we, we really wanted to get him in the bottom weight uh, in the Group 1 for next weekend, but his rating was too low due to the COVID. We couldn't get him back up there yet. You know? So um, things happen. We'll take him back to Cape Town and, uh, and find him a race there, but we'll have lots of fun with him. Well done. Thank and you. Uh, two from two, and let's hope we see you again a bit later on. Thank you very much. It's Glenn Kotzer. Now we're going to talk to Warren Kennedy for the uh, uh, first time today. It is the first time today. Yes, of course, you weren't one in the first, but uh, it's not going to be the last. Let's hope. But congratulations. Quite a simple and straightforward race. It looked out and, and to the front. Yeah, Warren, look, uh, 1,100 meters. I mean, uh, tailwind was always going to be up there, but um, I think the one horse that was supposed to, I thought, would lead Mr. Break, and I had to play from there. You know, and he broke really well. I got to the front relatively easily. I was allowed to do my own thing. I was really enjoyed it up there, and... When I asked him to quick and he gave me a nice kick, the challenge came and he found more, so it was a lovely win. Let's uh, touch on a couple of the other rides. I know you've got to get back, but uh, there's some, you, you really have, when we were looking at the card, some really wonderful rides and nice to have your big girl back in town, Summer Pudding. But let's touch on uh, a horse that you, you uh, know from home, Jasmine, for Glenn. I mean, uh, this horse really won well on debut. I know you didn't ride it. Have you done some work on her? Unfortunately, I, I didn't get around to do work. I had so much to do for these races with other horses. You know, I, I tried to get to Glen, and unfortunately, he'd worked her before I got there. And um, look, I don't know much about her. Her first win was really good. 
Um, I think she's affiliated with Progressive. She looks like she's only going to get better the further she goes. So I phoned for this ride in the 14 and, and luckily I got it. The other rides, Master of Disguise, Summer Pudding, Golden Ducat. I mean, we, it's been well documented. But a particular one I want to ask you about, Warren, before you go for the public is, is Gabor. We know how good she is. Uh, tell us about this horse. Yeah, look, she, she's a lovely filly. Um, unfortunately, she hasn't had a, a run since her last win, you know, um, in, in the grade one. But um, it would have been nice to have seen her maybe go against Open Company and, and see how much she's progressed, really. So we, we don't really know how much she has progressed, but she is smart. Um, she's probably going to need this slightly, but in saying that, she, we've done as much as we can with her. She, she's got another race in mind, but I'm expecting major performance from her. She'll be running on really strong with him, and it wouldn't surprise me if she ran past him. Well, thanks for the feedback, and all the best. As we, Dees and I said that we've got a, you're a jockey that we're going to follow with confidence today. All the best to you, and let's hope we chat to you a bit later on. Thanks so much, Warren. Yeah, I've got a lovely book, and let's hope it all goes to plan. Well done. It's Warren Kennedy, and uh, yeah, he's, uh, he certainly has got a lovely book of rides today, and uh, he, he's a rider that's bang in form, and he certainly knows how to bring them home. So if you're a Warren Kennedy fan, I think you can follow him with great confidence. Let's go and give you the result. 4125 for the second race, the Durban Dash, thanks to Backchat. 4125, those are the numbers that you're going to need. Two from two for the Glen Cotson stable.